you should remember PB and G. I try to remember PB and J like peanut butter and jelly, but in the retina itself, right here, this R, when you open it up really big, you actually have a bunch of layers inside, and we're going to look at that in a second. What I want you to realize is the light comes through here, and then it, so this is the retina here, right? This is the retina. And then it's going to turn this way and then come down. So it's going to come here, and then it's going to stop here, where the rods and cones are, known as photoreceptors. And now the electrical impulse is going to go this way. P, B, that's for bipolar neurons. It's going to continue going this way to G, ganglionic cells. So I don't remember something about peanut butter and jelly, but I can't, I don't know how to spell jelly. Think of it that way. So P, B, and G, that's all the retina. And then once it comes out here, it's going to come out here, and it's going to go through the optic nerve to the brain. So when you look over here, the light comes through here, and once it gets here to the retina, this is what the retina looks like. Okay? This is the retina right here. So the light comes through here, and then it hits the back. These are the rods and cones. If it looks rectangular, it's a rod. If it looks like an ice cream cone, it's a cone. Okay, so these are the photoreceptors, rods and cones. Then it goes to the bipolar, right, P, B, and G, and then ganglion cells, and now you can see the yellow nerves actually going, and that would actually go down into the uh, optic nerve. Okay, so hold on a second, go ahead, go forward. <laughs> 